Hi, I'm Joe Stein, editor-publisher of Florida Golf Magazine. Today, we're at Miami Beach Golf Club in beautiful Miami Beach, Florida to speak with world-renowned golf course architect, Arthur Hills. I'd like to read something that I wrote about Miami Beach Golf Club. In 2002, the city of Miami Beach hired me and my golf architectural design firm, Arthur Hills and Steve Forrest and Associates, to lead a program for the comprehensive rejuvenation of the municipality's legendary Bayshore Golf Club. Bayshore originally opened in 1923 as part of pioneer developer Carl Fisher's ambitious Alton Beach subdivision that was designed to lure wealthy winter residents from New York, Indianapolis, and Detroit. Being only a few blocks from the beautiful and famous beach, Fisher's development and the golf course were destined for success. In its early years, the course enjoyed the prosperity of the Roaring Twenties, but then suffered through the Great Depression. During World War II, the U.S. Army rented the course for a dollar a year as a training ground, and helmeted, rifle-toting soldiers ran through the course's palm trees amid the smoke from exploding grenades. Following its recovery after the war, the course provided city residents with a solid municipal track and a convenient location for years and years. Now that we have finished our work, the once tired and underutilized Bayshore Golf Course has become the elegant and highly regarded Miami Beach Golf Club. The result is a beautifully restored landmark that will be enjoyed by South Florida residents and visitors from around the world for years to come. In keeping with the original design, the new course we built is very traditional and looks like it's been there for a long time. It's an exciting course in a vibrant, star-studded urban location. The city of Miami Beach invested $10 million in the renovation effort, which included building a tasteful and stylish Art Deco-themed clubhouse with a wonderful outdoor dining terrace. On the golf course, 18 new green complexes were built. The playability, and strategy of each and every hole was improved through the addition of multiple tees and the placement of sand bunkers to relate to the modern game and its technological advances in balls and equipment. Many of the lakes were reshaped and reconfigured, not only to improve the stormwater drainage, but also to add beauty and challenge, particularly on the finishing holes. A modern practice facility was also created. The landscape was further improved with the removal of many aggressive Australian pines, a non-native tree species that can displace native beach plant communities that provide critical wildlife habitat for threatened and endangered plants and animal species. Saving the rare urban green space from being developed was a win for both man and the environment. However, the environmental responsibility didn't stop there. We covered the entire golf course, including tees, fairways, greens, and rough with paspalum, the so-called grass of the future at that time. The advantages of paspalum are significant. It doesn't turn brown in the winter and can be irrigated with poor quality brackish water that has a higher salt content. This is a big advantage in some locations, especially near the ocean. Pass Palm provides a very good playing surface for fairways and greens. It is a grass type that can be used everywhere, thereby simplifying maintenance considerations. Healthy Pass Palm requires reduced quantities of herbicides and other chemicals. That characteristic is good for the environment as well as the maintenance budget. It has been rewarding to see what was once a forgotten gem in the historic community of Miami Beach now become an outstanding recreational and environmental asset. We took great care to preserve this spectacular natural oasis that provides a splendid escape from an otherwise highly urban setting. Its fairways wind through carefully preserved mangroves, gumbo limbo trees, Jamaican dogwood, tropical palm, and many other native species. Measuring anywhere from 5,039 yards to 6813, this par 72 golf course is a good test of golf. 
There are many holes at Miami Beach that are worthy of being called signature holes, but the three finishing holes are especially noteworthy. Number 16 at 347 yards, par four. The 16th hole is a beautiful and fun short par four. The players can survey the options from the tee that overlooks one of the largest lakes on the property. Playing at 347 from the back tees, it's a classic risk-reward hole for big hitters. With favorable wind, the longest hitters can carry the entire water hazard and reach the putting surface in one shot. The generous open approach to the green from that angle entices players to have a go at it. An eagle putt is the reward. Reloading for one's third shot is the risk. For the shorter hitters, or perhaps the smarter golfers, the proper play is to completely avoid the water to the right and position the tee shot between the two bunkers that guard the left-hand side of the fairway. A well-struck tee shot will leave a short but somewhat scary approach over a gaping bunker that guards the entire left side of the green that slopes significantly from back to front. A straight hitter doesn't have to hit a long shot to birdie this short par four, but precision with the approach is definitely required. Number 17, 183 yards, par three. Considered a true signature hole by the members and the marketing department alike, the par three 17th is a stunning, highly photogenic charmer at Miami Beach Golf Club. It plays at 183 yards from the back tees, but has five teeing areas for maximum enjoyment in all kinds of conditions. It requires a bold tee shot over water to an island-like elevated green that is further protected by one large horseshoe-shaped bunker that wraps around the green. Actually, the bunker serves to keep marginal shots dry. The two-tiered putting surface is deep and has a large ridge running through the middle of its two distinct plateaus. A par is a very good score on the beguiling 17th hole. Number 18, 430 yards, par four. The final hole at Miami Beach Golf Club provides a classic strategic finish as it works its way back to the inviting clubhouse terrace. Rebuilt with traditional principles at the forefront, the hole has that old Florida look and feel that is admired by many. Framed by stately mature palms and flowering tropical varieties, the tee shot must successfully avoid a large fairway bunker on the left if the preferred angle to approach the green is to be realized. The safer alternative off the tee leaves a challenging second shot over a large bunker that successfully guards the right side of the putting surface. The straightforward par four allows for smart but aggressive play as players have one last opportunity to post a good number. Open to the public, the resort-like course is a big hit with both local golfers and tourists. The course has also delighted Miami Beach hotel owners and business people who benefit from their connections with the cherished facility. We too were thrilled to have the opportunity to be involved with the revival of an important part of Miami Beach's famed South Beach neighborhood. It was very exciting. I'm proud of the way Miami Beach Golf Club turned out. What was once a forgotten gem in the historic community of Miami Beach is now an elegant, highly regarded golf experience that is enjoyed by visitors from all over the world.